Hello everyone, and welcome to Learning with Lee, where we discuss nature and wildlife on Kiowa Island. I'm your host, Lee Bundrick, Land Preservation Coordinator for the Kiowa Conservancy. In this episode, we will be learning about Bass Creek Hummock Island, a property preserved by the Kiowa Conservancy in 2018. We will also learn about its features and talk about a few of its wildlife residents. This property was showcased as Island K-1 in 2006 when the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources published a document characterizing Hummock Island ecology. As its more common name suggests, it is located alongside Bass Creek just a short distance from its confluence with Cinder Creek. This open water estuarine creek feeds into the nearby Stoner River that flows into the Atlantic Ocean. The island is split into two narrow regions that run southeast to northwest, which are separated by a small salt marsh. The southern portion found closest to Bass Creek contains land with higher elevations characteristic of relic dune ridges that formed many years ago. In some instances, these areas reach elevations of 9 feet above mean high tide. The upland areas contain mostly maritime forest habitat with live oaks, pine trees, and cabbage palmettos present. Along the fringes of the island, you'll encounter salt shrub thicket, maritime grasslands, and high marsh habitats. Many wildlife species can be found on the island. Mammals, including deer, raccoons, and bobcats, travel between the mainland areas of Kiowa to the island by traveling over the marsh at low tide levels. Reptiles can also be found here, with two notable species that we will highlight today, the diamondback terrapin and the glass lizard. The diamondback terrapins can be found in the surrounding area, inhabiting mostly the nearby estuarine tidal creeks and salt marshes. Their bodies are mostly whitish and contain dark spots. The scutes or plates on terrapin shells have dark concentric lines that contrast with the yellowish shells. Terrapins have been recorded using this hummock island as a nesting ground. In fact, during our visit we stumbled upon a shell from a diamondback terrapin in an upland area near the marsh. One cool fact about these terrapins is that they can survive in different salinity conditions because they have developed salt glands around their eyes which release excess salt, similar to sea turtles. The glass lizard from the genus Ophisaurus can be found moving around on the forest floor. While at first it appears to be a snake, they are actually a type of legless lizard that is adapted to these sandy, salty environments. They range from about 18 to 42 inches in length and its skin comes in brown, tan, and greenish hues. The glass lizards get their name from a survival technique to distract predators. When they are threatened, their slender tails fall off and shatter into pieces like glass. Like most lizards, their tails will eventually regrow back. Both the diamondback terrapin and island glass lizard are vulnerable species in South Carolina. Diamondback terrapins are considered a vulnerable species due to impacts from traditional fishing techniques and loss of habitat. The widespread use of terrapin excluder devices has greatly reduced the impacts to their populations due to fishing. Island glass lizards are considered a critically imperiled species in South Carolina due to loss of habitat within their ranges. It is important to preserve natural areas such as Bass Creek Hummock Island because it provides critical habitat for many wildlife species that call Kiowa their home. Thank you for following along with us today as we go visit Bass Creek Hummock Island and talk about some of its wildlife residents. Join us again next time for another episode of Learning with Lee.